Welcome to the Market Analyst 5 Getting Started video. This video will take you through some basic items in Market Analyst such as opening a chart, changing a time frame and applying a tool. For more detailed information on the many parts of Market Analyst 5, please visit our free online knowledge base. Once you've opened the program, the fastest way to open a chart is to press F3 on your keyboard. In the window that opens, enter the code of the security you wish to view and press enter on your keyboard. A chart will then open. If you are unsure what code to use, you can navigate through the exchange folders and double click on the security you wish to view a chart for. By default, the chart will open using a one day time frame. This means each bar displayed on the chart represents one day's worth of price action. You can change this to a weekly, monthly, yearly or even a custom time frame. To do this, move your cursor to the bottom left corner of the chart. The dark blue section will expand. If you click on the drop down arrow, you will see a display of all available time frames. Left click on the time frame you wish to view and the chart will update. The majority of the chart's navigation is done via the history slider. The history slider gives you a general overview of the chart's total price movements since it began and displays the current amount of price action you can currently see. Using the slider you can zoom in and out of the chart and you can adjust the chart's view. Now that we've opened a chart and adjusted its view to our liking, we can begin adding tools. To do this, left click on the tools menu along the top of the screen. The tool wheel interface will display. You can see the tool groups are listed on the outside wheel. When you hover over one of these tool groups, the tools located within the group are displayed in the center of the wheel. In this example, I will go to the Averages tool group and select Moving Average from the list. When I left click the Moving Average option, the tool wheel will close and I'm taken back to the chart. Notice the mouse cursor has changed. This indicates I need to left click on the chart to place the select tool. Left click once and the moving average is applied. Before we continue, one last tip on the tool wheel. Since Market Analyst includes many tools, there is a search function available. When the tool wheel is open, begin typing in the name of the tool you want to apply. Moving for example. As you type, you will see the tool list in the center shortens to display only those tools that contain that word. All you need to do then is left click on the tool and place it on the chart. Once a tool has been placed on the chart, you can adjust its settings. To do this, left click once on the tool. Go to the left hand control panel and you will see a list of actions and properties relating to the selected tool. In this example, we will change the moving average's color. As you can see, any changes made in the control panel will display instantly on the chart. Once you have added your analysis to the charts, you can save them for future review. To do this, left click on the files menu and in the menu displayed, left click Save Workbook As. Enter in a name and left click on the Save button. The next time you open Market Analyst, you will be able to access this workbook again by using either the Files menu or the recently opened workbook section on the welcome screen. You should now be able to open a chart, 
adjust its time frame and view, apply analysis to the chart and save the page as a workbook. There are many more features available in Market Analyst such as scanning, training mode, system testing, templates and portfolio management. For detailed information on these items, please visit the Market Analyst Knowledge Base.